I'm sure glad I got into Sac State. Hold it. It's a nice steel bridge t-shirt you're wearing. Thanks. Too bad this is timber territory. You're stronger than I thought. Of course, I'm the karate kid. Out of my way, old man. Ah! I'll be back! Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Who are you? I'm Mr. Miyagi. How did you do that? I learned the secrets of timber from my master, Master Matsumoto. I thought Kim Scott taught that. Do you, don't you want to learn how to defeat Tony Timber? Yeah, but I tried compression and tension. What else is there? Ah, there is only one other thing. Torsion. I want to learn torsion. I'm glad that you are enthusiastic. Now start by cleaning the board. No, like this. That, that's inefficient. Do you want to defeat Tony Timber or not? Fine. Better. I'm going to use my house. This stands for the mail. Oh, it does. Oh. I, I can't process it right now because I'm trying to Well, that's actually why I have this on it. Can I go home? I'm tired. Yes, Daniel, son. You may go home now. Hello, Mr. Miyagi. Hello. So I have some information on Tony Timber. Uh, it turns out he has redwood 2 by 4 as arms. Ah, that's interesting. Um, my students and I just recently did a project on redwood. And we were testing it in torsion, and we found that the modulus of elasticity was 1.10 times 10 to the 6 pounds per square inches. The elastic ratio at 12% moisture content was 0 0.013, and the theoretical maximum shear that it would withstand was 1,110 pounds per square inches. And we anticipated it to fail as a shear failure along the radial axis. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Daniel-san, Professor Twist is here to show you the calculations. Alright Daniel-san, let's begin by discussing the two main equations you will need to learn to beat Tony Timber. first equation you will need is this one. If you rearrange it to solve for t, you get the t equals tau max times 4ab squared. Tau max is found in the Wood Handbook along with this value of 4. And a and b are your cross sections, which are given over here. And the second equation you will need. Uh, is for theta, which will help you find how far uh, his arms are going to twist before they fail. And theta equals T L 
over G K, where K equals A B cubed over phi. Phi is given over here. It's four for a two by four section of wood. A and B again are your cross sections. G here is your shear modulus, uh, which is given over here for the radial direction. And L is your effective length, which again is given over here, six inches. And T is what you saw for up here, which is the torque applied uh, to failure. So if you plug K into here, and you plug T into here, you get a new equation for theta. So theta is going to equal, once you do the canceling, your shear max times 4 times phi times your effective length over your shear modulus times the base of your cross section. Alright, let me see. So I need to create a torque of at an angle in order to beat Tony Timber. That's right to me. Come back for another impact loading? Not today, Tony Timber. Remember your training, Daniel Sign. Victory will be yours. I'm going to do to you what the lateral loading test did to Steel Bridge this year. You see this? It's sheared along the radial axis. Well, goodbye. See ya. You're stronger than I thought. Of course, I'm the karate kid. <laughs> it's so cheesy. We gotta just deal with that. Russell, Did you say action? <laughs> I didn't hear you. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Daniel, son. Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs>